Hey guys, how y'all doing? I'm here to give you guys a recap on the new episode of Koi to Uso or Love and Lies on episode 11. Now, this episode here was actually not too bad. It was alright in a certain sense, so if anything else, let's go. We have to it that our four main characters are like going to a wedding right now and starting to enjoy themselves. Right now, they all end up going to a certain event being offered to go to some kind of wedding wedding model pamphlet whatsoever which they all decide to agree decide to go on which is pretty cool not too bad etc and of course that is, that alone was like um before the wedding and no i mean like um the woman who offered them to go to this model kind of thing before the real wedding starts they all decided to go <laughs> sorry Aside from that, the wedding seems okay. It seems really slick. Although, like when there was a there was a lone there was a alone time with um Yukari and Misaki. Apparently, she was crying right now, and she has some kind of lie. She has some kind of lying. She seems to be lying about something, etc. And of course, like um Yukari did kiss her when he when Misaki tells Yukari. I don't care if it's I just tell me that you love me or something, you know? And ends up kissing her in a certain sense, so I just go like, what the heck is going on? <laughs> but, of course, Lily and I was there to, to witness it at the same time, so it really sucked. But, Yukari, along with Rina and their families all together, ends up going to an hot springs. And, of course, Yukari and Rina also, like, um, ends up, how am I supposed to say it? Having fun with each other, walking around town, etc. And of course, they had a little small talk with each other on different sides of the wall when it came to the hot springs by the by themselves. Of course, they talk about like fate, etc., about love, and then of course maybe about Takasaki at the same time. But towards the end of the episode, we have two that Rina does tell Yukari, I think you should choose um Misaki over me or something, which gave me some kind of like um doubt in a certain sense of the. Of what's to come later because I see the preview of the next episode which is the finale and the final episode for next week and uh, and it does involve like um maybe reading her crying and maybe showing her confession etc and this was a little like um difficult in a sense because like um I don't know what kind of lie that um Takasaki Misaki's heightened but sometimes like I was like all out root rooting for like um Yukari and Misaki Takasaki you know that is my honest truth. But after seeing Rina and Yukari hang out with more of each other, I feel like going for them now because right now I hear that Takasaki is like hiding a certain lie that Igarashi mentioned makes me doubt like um should they really get together, Yukari and Takasaki. Like I said, this is like back and forth, up and downs around my head right now, thinking my mind what is really bound to happen, you know? I'm just saying they're on the spot right now. Um Aside from that, like, um, I'm thinking about hitting the manga after I finish the final episode of to Uso next week or so. So, until then, I'll see you guys in my next video. So, I'm off for zero, people. Have a good day, and I'll see you guys next time, right? Peace out. Bye-bye.